Hello and welcome to my craft room. My name is Deanna Gonzalez. I was really excited um, about these really cute little um, uh, the cut above sets where you can get um, you know card sets that have all the, the the things or you can get treat boxes that you just put little bits of candy and your stickers and you're good to go. It's pretty easy. You just you know, spend fourteen ninety five. You get the the all the little things you need, apart from the candy, of course. And then you you know you can do the stamps that coincide with these, or you could even do say um, if you're doing Halloween, like a little uh, stamp of a monster or um, what have you, or you know, a little Christmas a snowflake, you know, anything that that really suits you. Um, I was gonna try and find find one of those. Ah, right here, I think. Um, uh, for instance, I thought that, um, this little monster guy, let's see if I can find it, um, oh, you know, I don't even see it on here, oh, here we go, um, so, like, something like the little, the little zombie, the ghost, you know, any of these little characters, something small that could go in the circle would be really cute as well, so, um, I did, I did have a lot of fun, um, ordering these, now, another thing I wanted to mention um, even though these are, are for Halloween, if you look, it, it apart from, say, boo, trick-or-treat, things like that, it could also be a multi-purpose kind of a treat box. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got, um, I've got the Christmas set, and I also have the Halloween set. And at my husband's job, <laughs> um, he, when we do presents for his employees, it has to be it cannot be Christmas related. The best you, like, you really need it to not be connected to a holiday, just sort of like a, a wintry present, you know, and, 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 and things like that. We just have to be careful. So what we like to do is come up with something that could be sort of, I don't know, uh, you know, kind of wintry, but kind of, you know, um, fun. So what I was thinking is for the guys, for, for masculine ones, I would do the, the Christmas set because it has like the more boy colors. And this one would be great for the girls. And we can just put enjoy and it doesn't really say, oh, happy holidays since we can't say that. Um, but since this is, you know, Halloween hasn't come yet, I wanted to show you um, what you can do if you're doing this for Halloween. So, and I, I thought these would be good party favor type things for a Halloween treat. So you're going to want to get a candy that has like a flat surface um, and it, that way you can stick the stickers on it. Um, any candy with some sort of flat surface. And you're going to just go and, and fold this. It's, it's this simple. I mean, I love that they make it that easy. I mean, you've got the cutest little box here. It was that, you know, like, oh wow, I love it. So anyway, I'm going to get my little candies here and a stickers thing. And since we're doing you know, random. I know this is like orangey, so it, you know, some of this sort of, you know, blends in, but, um, I thought that this would, <laughs> this would work. So, since this is still halloween -y time, I'm going to make a very halloween -y bag. Um, so, let's get the booze on here, the candy corn, and these just make it look so adorable um, as we put it in the bag. You know, it just gives it that extra special touch that's just so wonderful. So we'll just kind of coordinate these a little bit and just get these in. It doesn't have to be tons and tons of candies. Um, you just want to make sure that it looks adorable. <laughs> so I'll do, let me see, what else would be good? Ooh, spooky bat. And then the word, actually I want the word spooky, so I'll just take this off and save it for another time and do the word spooky. That way we have all just kind of Halloween-y sort of things here. So I can get about six of those in. And then what I'm going to want to do is just kind of um, staple them to the top here. So I'll just lay this flat, and this is probably not the idealist staple. Actually, I don't think that's going to work. I'll have to do it like this. My stapler is kind of like not the best for crafting. <laughs> um, but here we go. So now we've got this adorable little thing with the little candy showing. Um, and now I want to further decorate, of course. 
So I'm going to go ahead, and I still, I love how easy these are, because you get the stickers, you have, you know, even the little puff-up squares, and the circles to stamp. So I did happen to get the, the stamp set um, that goes with this, because I wanted this all to just look so perfect. So I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, I don't think I need that right now. And get that inked up. And I love that it just says enjoy. I mean, just having something like that is very versatile. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in here and try to line up the best I can, hopefully keeping my head out of the way <laughs> so that you don't have to see that. Um, and then, voila, beautiful, beautiful. So I want to add that here. And because they give us these little puff squares, it's as easy as take it off, you know? <laughs> so I'm just going to do that, put that here. And I'm going to have a really cute little treat bag. Now, oh, I guess I should have put this square a little bit higher. So maybe I'll do that instead. Um, or maybe if I do it lower, I could seal the box that way. So maybe I'll do this. Just kind of put it there. And then put this here. And then we've got our little enjoy. And we'll move this over so it looks a little... Here, there we go. So it looks a little better. But anyway, so here's our little treat bag. And it's so easy to do and so much fun and beautiful. Um, and I just, I really had a lot of fun with this idea. So, um, you know, you can think outside the, this is only for Halloween, you know, since this catalog is good for a whole year. I mean, these would be fun for birthdays, just for, I mean, it's just fun and, and poppy, you know, just really exciting. So, um, yeah. I hope this gives you fun ideas, and they obviously don't stand up awesome the way I, I put it by itself. So maybe if I tweak it a little bit. There we go. Now it stands up by itself. But um, these would be really fun little grab. You know, they look great as a decoration as well as just a good grab treat on the way out, you know, or while you're at home just really to decorate you know, your room and stuff. So I hope you like these ideas. I think they'd be really cute in the office as well. Just put it at someone's computer as just sort of a, hey, I'm thinking about you, you know, have a, have a great day. So <laughs> it fell down. So anyway, yes, I hope you like this idea. I hope you're going to have a great time um, for the holidays. Hope you're going to be safe for Halloween. And yeah, uh, come visit my site and see what else we're crafting with. I know if you're not way into the holidays, um, then, you know, there's, there's, I have so many, uh, tutorials out there, like, from years, you know, so, I mean, so if you just want, like, a really cool birthday card or what have you, you know, you can find stuff like that, and, you know, last year's Halloween stuff is still there, so, you know, whatever, if you don't find exactly what you're looking for, hopefully there's something else there, you know, so have a great day, I hope you get to craft, I hope to see you again soon, bye.